much for stopping back by my channel today. I am going to be sharing um, kind of demo and reviewing the Shea Moisture Red Palm Oil and Coconut Butter. I have the Curl Stretch Pudding and I have the Leave-In or Rinse Out Conditioner. I'm using this today as a leave-in. Um, I was planning on doing this as a twist out, but I realized that with my twist outs per se, like there's not that much of a difference between different products in terms of shrinkage. I feel like I can notice when my hair shrinks or if a product's helping with shrinkage or not when I do a wash and go. So I'm gonna really just go out there today and do a wash and go with these two products, even though they're not called for wash and goes per se, but that's what I'm gonna do. Jump right in. Also just here for your, for your weekly reminder that Black Lives Matter today, tomorrow, they mattered yesterday, they matter in the future. Continue to do your part in this, 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 um, this fight. I very much believe that this is not just a moment but a movement. I do believe that there's change coming and okay, that's just my little two cents I'm throwing in there and let's jump in. So my hair, what I do for my wash and goes is I um, I have to keep them soaking wet. So I like to apply my leave-in by section. Um, and I'm gonna try and do this quick today, guys, because not a time constraint. But when I go to apply like the product, y'all know how I feel about scent. And right now, I don't know how I feel about the scent. <laughs> Uh, maybe when it hits my hair, it'll smell differently. That amount. <laughs> this is gonna smell funny. I just like to apply leave it the leave it in these four sections, but then you know I gotta go smaller for time to define and such. Um, these both of these products are supposed to help with stretching your hair out um, and obviously providing moisture and all that other stuff. I'll lift. I'll put it on the screen. Some of the benefits of the ingredients that are listed here so when i do on the days that i do use the brush not often i use it before i apply the product i can say though y'all this leave-in is it's great wow it's softened my hair right up um but yeah i like to use the brush before before i apply the product just because it looks better that way Super thick. I did not expect it to be that thick. It is a pudding. I guess that makes sense. Let's start here. Now I'm well aware that this product is it doesn't say anything about wash and goes and I don't think it talks about like a hold. So I'm prepared that this wash and go is going to be a little bit fluffier but I'm really just looking to see if it's going to uh, stretch my curls out. That's really what I'm looking for. I'm perfectly fine with it being a fluffy wash and go. <laughs> All right. Well, from that looks, it does look a little stretched. So this is the first section. As far as lengthening or stretching, I don't see really much of a difference right now. Like, I felt like maybe I would see something as as I'm going through. I don't. Um, I'm surprised that though. I will say right now it's uh, it's defining well. Let's see what happens. But it's doing something that it didn't say it was gonna do, so oops. Let's get almost done with this section I'm gonna do the rest off camera really quick just because um, camera's dying but then I'll come back to show you before I even start the drying process um, what it looks like just to give you an idea as to how it might end up drying all right guys I have applied all of the product to my hair and I'm just taking these out I like to use these if anyone's wondering just as I'm applying um, because I don't want the hair to start to frizz before the drying process starts, but it's all in and I'm going to let this air dry for the most part and I'll come back and tell you guys how 
how it looks, what I think, my thought, etc. You guys. <laughs> so I know this product says that it's supposed to stretch my hair and that's like what it, the main point of the product is. I don't really think I got any stretch, but can we talk about this definition? I'm I'm very I'm very confused right now. Okay? Like do you I haven't done anything to it yet. I, it just air dried. I went outside and let it air dry and I just wanted to show y'all before I fluffed it. Like I'm, so I'm gonna fluff it really quick um, and then I'll come back and give like my final thoughts on the whole product. I want to be specific in talking about what this is supposed to do so I'm just gonna read what it says. It's supposed to minimize natural shrinkage and temporarily reveal a longer fro or curly coily style with ultra moisturizing pudding. It has cocoa, bu cocoa butter, I said this earlier, red palm oil and flaxseed oil. Um, wow. So I don't have any gel, you guys saw. Literally, I didn't put anything else in my hair. The only difference of what I did with my wash and go is this is a little bit of a finger coil just because my bangs be acting funky. Nowhere on here does this say anything about defining your hair. I did, y'all heard me, I was expecting a fluffy, frizzy, full wash and go, and this is what I got. I'm very, very happy with this. So in terms of stretching your hair, if that's what you're looking for, I don't see much elongation here, y'all. This is the regular length. You know, I was maybe hoping for like a little bit longer. This is it. Um, but I'm very surprised to find that this can define your hair. And it moisturizes your hair. I definitely think that this is super moisturizing. It's also very effective for detangling. So if maybe you just need to use it as a rinse out to detangle and you have another leave-in, that's fine. Um, what I do like about this is, although I don't really like, I'm not a big fan of the smell. It doesn't stink, but it's not pleasant in my opinion. It's like old furniture um just not pleasant but uh what i am excited about this is this has very um it has um ingredients that are good for hair growth elasticity flaxseed oil is really good um and red palm oil i've never used it before but it's rich in antioxidants i just think this will stay around for what it just did my hair be playing games with me. I usually need gel. I'm a like diehard gel product when it comes to wash and goes. Only two products I've ever used that I didn't need gel. I was very surprised by this. So like I said, if you're looking for something that's going to stretch out your curls, if you are in the three to four C, uh, like three B, four C category um, in that range, I didn't find that it stretched my hair. Is it soft? Yes. Is it defined? <laughs> but if you're looking for stretching, if that's like what you're looking for, I would I would pass on it for that. I do think it's good for other things, and I am happy that um, I was gifted this product. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like what you see here, definitely subscribe, stick around. We will be talking about hair, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, DIY, all the good stuff in the next upcoming videos, and I will see you guys then.